Hello there, and welcome to the Tech Lab series. My name is Chinedu Aganu, and I'm a solutions architect at Prosimo. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can provide secure user access to your corporate applications using Prosimo's Application Experience Infrastructure, or AXI platform. The AXI platform allows organizations to build and enforce modern access control policies using a range of Layer 3 to Layer 7 information as uh, input parameters. Now, to show you this, I have prepared a demo environment for a specific scenario. Now, in this scenario, let's say there are two users. Uh, user 1 is in Japan, and user 2 is in the USA. Now, they want to access the Grafana application that's running in AWS. And I have onboarded this application to the Axie platform um, using an Axie Edge, also running in AWS in the US West region. And I have connected you know, the platform to my identity provider, uh, Okta sp to be specific, and we'll use that to, ver to verify the identities for these uh, users. Now we'll build a policy that basically blocks user one's access to Grafana from Japan. And this is a typical use case for organizations that want to place a geo-based access restriction to, to their corporate application. Now I'll show you how easy it is to build this policy, and then I'll show you what the experience is like for both user one and user two as the Axie platform enforces that policy. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a policy that I've set up uh, for this particular scenario. So uh, the scenario, as I said, is to block user one's access to um, you know, Grafana. So, Policy name is Grafana. Uh, this is specific to user one, so we've specified as input parameter one, you know, user one's uh, username, which is the ID information I put, uh, you, you saw on the slide. Um, the second input parameter is, you know, the country information. So you can actually get really granular. So you can go in and say, no, I want to block a particular city in Japan. But just for this use case, we're only specifying Japan. There are other uh, input parameters that, that you can use, right? So you can, get, you know, put some device uh, base information like the device OS, you know, browser type, if there's a certificate inside uh, on the machine, if you want to make those policies, you could do that. You can certainly set time of day policies, path based policies, if you want to restrict or allow access to a specific URL. Um, you know, you can also do the really great, get really deeper with device posturing and checking for encryptions and things like that. Uh, you can also do, uh, you know, web request methods. So HTTP get, HTTP post, a lot of, like I said, a wide range of information, a uh, wide range of parameters you could use to build uh, different policies. But once you're all set with that, the next step is to set an action, in which case, uh, for this particular use case, we're going to set uh, deny because we don't want to allow user one access to Grafana. And then we'll associate this policy with the application. So remember I said we've already onboarded Grafana to the um, Axie platform. And so we just associate this policy with uh, Grafana. And after that, we just save the policy and then allow the, ac allow the users to access the application. So let's see what that looks like for user one and user two. All right, so what you're looking at here is two separate desktops. The uh, desktop on the left uh, belongs to user one who is in Japan, uh, Ned, and then on the right is OB who is in the USA, and that's user two. So both of them want to access Grafana. Let's go ahead and access it using uh, the Chrome browser, uh, as you can see on either side. So both of them get redirected to um, you know, Okta for uh, identity verification is as expected. Um, and then we try to access on either side. So you notice that Ned on the left gets rejected with a policy denied. Um, and Obi on the right can actually get to the Grafana login page to access, um, you know, Grafana. So as expected, uh, our policy was in place and worked effectively. So let's take a look at what that looks like, uh, you know, from the Axie uh, portal, and let's see all of the login information and, and all of that good stuff. So, okay, so let's quickly look at some of the information that we can glean off of, you know, the Axie uh, dashboard. Right? Uh, we know both users, user one and user two, try to access. 
uh, Grafana application. Uh, but now we also know what time they try to access that. We also have, you can see here it's around 8 p.m. Um, we also have information on, you know, the amount of data usage, right? And then we can also get deeper on, you know, session information. We can also look at really deep level, you know, uh, user endpoint information. So not just, you know, not just having the person's username, we can also see uh, what city they're in, we can see what browser they're using, we can you know, we can see the IP address they came from, same similar information for the the server application they're trying to connect to. And of course there's a uh, session information, right? So you can see total response time, you can tell if there's any session packet loss, uh, the amount of data, data transferred, all of that really good stuff. Uh, rich information available uh, from the portal. And of course this is available for any session that comes in, so including user two has similar information available uh, but I want you to also pay attention to the middle box here and notice that there is a second uh, edge that exists on the platform for this user uh, so specifically a user uh, a, uh, an axi edge was deployed in uh, AWS US East 2 and this axi edge ingressed traffic coming from uh, user two OB uh, to be specific and obviously there are benefits to this um, there is caching that occurred so we can see there is a uh, caching uh, edge hits and all of that stuff um, in addition to you know knowing that the, the user traffic actually traversed the AWS backbone uh, to actually access the uh, egress edge the primary edge that's connected to the um, Grafana application so there are benefits to having you know the uh, second axi edge for this user um, but overall you can see that you get a really rich set of data uh, for users accessing your application, uh, especially using the Axie platform uh, in the middle. This really concludes what you know the Axie platform could do as far as enforcing you know layer seven policies, really deep level policies uh, within your organization. And this brings us to the end of this episode. Um, you know, I encourage you to sign up for a self guided tour using the link on your screen. Or you can reach out to us directly and uh, if you'd like to know more about how Prosimo could, could help you provide really secure uh, access for your users to your corporate applications. Uh, thanks a lot for listening.